Fast fashion is the second dirtiest industry in the world, next to big oil. Fashion is a complicated business involving long and varied supply chain or production. It is not a secret that too many of the plastic products we use end up in the ocean, but you might not be aware of that major source of pollution is our clothes. So materials used in the fashion industry are the pesticides that we use cotton in cotton farming, the toxic dyes used in manufacturing, and the great amount of waste discarded clothes creates. Extravagant amount of natural sources used in extraction, farming, harvesting, processing, manufacturing, and shipping. It is not about the materials, but also globalization. Globalization means that your ship likely travel half a way around the world in a container ship filled with the dirtiest of fossil fuels. A current trend in fashion retail is to create an extreme demand to quick and cheap clothes. And it is a huge problem. Your clothes continue to impact the environment after purchase, washing and final disposal when you are finished with your shirt might cause more harm to the planet than you realize. The fashion industry by design is constantly changing with the seasons, but fast fashion changes weekly and the rapid rise and success of these brands in bringing cheap and trending clothes to the masses has led to a major shift in consumer behavior. Polyester, nylon, acrylic, and other synthetic fibers are all which are a form of plastic, are 60% of the materials that makes up all our clothes worldwide. Synthetic plastic fibers are cheap and extremely versatile. They are adding to the microplastic pollution that's accumulating in the food chain and being ingested by all sorts of marine wildlife and even us. Production of nylon produces nitrous oxide, which is a greenhouse gas, 300 times more potent than carbon dioxide. Much of the microplastic problem is a plastic clothing problem. While cotton, especially organic cotton, might seem like a smart choice, it can still take more than 5,000 of gallons used to spend on a pair of jeans or a shirt. Mine made fevers, while it's not water intensive, often have issues with manufacturing and pollution and sustainability. Across all textiles, the manufacture and the dyeing of fabrics is chemically intensive. So what can you do with the clothes you already have and is polluting when you are washing it in the machine? There are special filters that collect tiny fevers from your washing machine. And also you can use to buy natural fevers or less clothes overall. And talking about companies, they should start with simple steps such as buying renewable energy to power their outlet stores, shops, factories, etc. Do you hear about the circular fashion? You as an individual should know about this. It's based on the main principle of circular economy and sustainable development. Circular fashion can be defined as clothes, shoes or accessories that are designed, sorts, produced and provide with the intention to be used and circulate responsibly and effectively in society for as long as possible in their most valuable form and hereafter retrocelling to the biosphere. We no longer of human beings. Circular practices tackling the linear paradigm. So industry leaders have already started to revolutionize the world of fashion. Recognition that we should replace the linear model with a circular one where raw materials are fed back into the system when they reach the end of life. A part of the pressing and environmental concerns, there is a growing evidence that a comprehensive circular model will lead to more efficient and cost-effective business operations based on over not ending producing cycle. Consumers play a crucial role into the circular function of the fashion industry. New consumption practices could involve try to repair your garments instead of throwing them away when these repairs are easy to do. We use a needle and thread. 
you can bring your own garments to Salvation Army, Goodwill, or a recycle bin so they can be used or recycled. Find garments that really fit your style. Instead of seasonal trend, you can enjoy your own style and enjoy them longer too. So, uh, so as you know, there are the four R's, reuse, reduce, repair, and recycle. Uh, reusing is a really good one and important in the fashion industry. Sometimes when you recycle, you don't use 100% of the material, but when you reuse, you use all the material, and that's part of the cycle too. This time I will show you uh, the last time I bought in a thrift store, and actually the last time I bought clothes, that was in Christmas, it was a long time ago, it was in December. Um, I don't have a plastic bag, but I take all my stuff in backpacks. Even when I go to the supermarket, I always take my backpack. It's an old one, but it works. So last time I went to a thrift store, I bought these pants that are like formal, white, and I always wanted something like this. They look so cute for any formal event and they are very comfortable. I bought this top and it was $33 on the tag. Wait, let me find the tag. So you see the tag says $32 and it was like this brand, but I got it in just $3 later. And I'm really happy with these ones. It's velvet material and these are bike shorts and they are so cute and comfortable. And I got these heels that look so fancy and at the same time so basic from Aldo, but I got it also in Salvation Army. But here they are and they are so, so beautiful and they look new. And finally, I got this basic dress. It's like this open, you know, but if I, but if I add this belt that I also got it on a thrift store and it's super basic, I really get a cute outfit. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you like it. You can buy thrift store clothes, secondhand clothes online. So stay at home during this time and support sustainability. I hope you like my video. Like and comment and also subscribe so then you will get more content about sustainability.